Daimler Trucks North America has just unveiled a technology that allows trucks to operate without direct driver control. It's called Highway Pilot, and there are now two trucks in North America equipped with the system. Hi, I'm Jim Park with Today's Trucking. I'm in Las Vegas, where Daimler Trucks opened the doors on what it calls the Inspiration Truck. To explain how the system works, here's our test driver, Antonio Edgar. He's the manager of cab electronics testing at Daimler's Product Validation Engineering Group. Once the highway pilot is available, the driver has the choice to activate the system or not. So, in this case, um, when the system is ready and able, a notification will, will be present on the cluster that states highway pilot available. And with the press of, of a steering wheel button, um, the system can go from availability to active. And that is, is clearly displayed in the cluster um, uh, with a, a difference in the display. It's blue, it says Highway Pilot is active, and uh, at that point then the driver can remove his or her feet off the pedals and his or her hands off the steering wheel, and the vehicle is basically driving itself. The Highway Pilot system takes its cues from a two-phase radar unit built into the front of the truck as well as a pair of windshield-mounted stereo cameras. Together, they sense the truck's position on the roadway as well as the traffic and objects around the truck. The long-range radar looks about 800 feet out in front of the truck in a narrow beam, while the shorter radar beam looks out about 200 feet with a much wider beam. The cameras scan the pavement markings while observing traffic movements about 300 feet out in front of the truck, and that beam spreads out on a 45-degree angle. The onboard computers analyze traffic movements and lane position while controlling the steering as well as the throttle and brake applications. The system can remain active from zero right up to the set highway cruise speed. The system is fully capable of maneuvering through traffic as you can see here. Watch as the wheel swings first to the left and then back to the right as it negotiates a bend in the road. The trailer, by the way, tracked perfectly through the curve. The Highway Pilot system provides a warning to the driver when it's about to disengage. First, the driver hears a beep, and then the dash display turns red, indicating the driver must take control. In this case, it's telling me to take control. And so, if I wait, it beeps at me, and then it's a constant audible control. And I no longer, I'm no, it's no longer autonomous. In order for me to kick it out, I just you know, okay. I'm gonna turn the system off, or I apply throttle, or give it a little steering input. The system was alerting the driver that it had reached the end of the course that had been programmed into the predictive cruise control system. Had the driver not taken control, the system would have slowed the truck to a stop by downshifting and using the engine brake. Out on Interstate 15, the driver reactivated the system and we cruised back to the turnaround point under highway pilot control. And this is where I noticed something really remarkable. Watch how well the truck maintains its lane position. I had driven this course an hour earlier in another truck and it was a really windy day and I had some difficulty counter steering in the crosswinds, but not the highway pilot. Using the window sill as a reference, watch the position of the yellow line on the roadway and watch the movement of the steering wheel. It's pivoting back and forth constantly by about four to five degrees in each direction, counter steering for the crosswinds, but the truck never wavers from running absolutely straight down the lane. I don't think any human driver can make such corrections so quickly or accurately. So that's a quick demonstration of Daimler Truck's first steps towards autonomous commercial vehicles. It's certainly not a driverless truck at this point, but it is technology that can help alleviate driver boredom and the potential loss of alertness on long, boring drives. There's a lot of potential in such a system, but you can be sure it'll be several years before systems like Highway Pilot become commercially viable. And at the pace technology changes, by that time who knows how much more sophisticated the system will have become. In Las Vegas, at the unveiling of Daimler Truck's Innovation Truck and its Highway Pilot Autonomous Control System, I'm Jim Park for today's trucking.